Hello and welcome to day 26 of 37 Days of Prayer. Today's topic, big trials, big saints. As I was reading this the first time, it occurred to me that it could say big trials can produce big saints. There are so many quote unquote cute sayings that we can say about this kind of thought. He takes our mess and turns them into a message. He takes our problems and answers them with his promises. There is no testimony without a test and some money. As I look back on the events in the last couple of years in my family's life, the truth and comfort of today's scripture means so much to me. In Hosea 2, 14 through 15, we read, I will lead her into the desert and speak tenderly to her there. I will return her vineyards to her and transform the valley of trouble into a gateway of hope. She will give herself to me there as she did long ago when she was young, when I freed her from her captivity in Egypt. This is such a good picture of salvation than working out salvation with fear and trembling, realizing that he will never leave or forsake us and choosing to believe that he works all things together for our good as we love him and respond to the call he has placed on our lives. The story of Hosea and Gomer is the story of a wayward bride, thank the church, and a groom who would not give up on her, thank Jesus. As Pastor Randy mentions in today's devotional, the desert is not a place to fear. It's a place where God can cause us to see things in our life that we are not surrendering to him, to see flaws in our character that don't look like him, and to be in a gym where we can build muscles that will be needed in the next season of life, or maybe even for the one that we are currently in. My dad used to say, experience is what you get right after you need it. After our son Reggie died in 2018, and Debbie was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer less than two months later, I had never felt so out in the desert. This despite seeing the faithfulness of God through other tragic experiences earlier in my life. My older brother's death at 33, Michael, our son being born 10 weeks premature with a prognosis of not actually being viable enough to live. Reggie's cancer at seven, his broken neck at 19, which left him a quadriplegic. I share this history not to seek sympathy, but to testify about the truth of this scripture. Do I think God caused these things? No, I don't. We have an enemy that only comes to steal, to kill, and destroy, John 10:10. 10, 10. Do I think that when I found myself in the desert that God was wanting to speak to me tenderly? Absolutely. As a scientist, I find myself trying to understand God because that's what scientists do. Some of these things that happened, there was just no explanation other than the truth of what we read in John 10:10. 10, 10. God wanted me to continue to trust him and his goodness. He gave me a picture of him and Jesus, each holding the sides of a funnel over my life. They both evaluated everything coming into that funnel and anything that they could not work together for my good, they prevented from entering the funnel. They would not let it enter my life simply because they are good and I am loved. That's not to say that there isn't sometimes tremendous, in fact, unbearable pain in working all things together for my good. Today's scripture says he will transform the valley of troubles into a gateway of hope. Second Corinthians 1.4 says that he comforts us so that we can comfort others. It causes hope to arrive. arise. I have learned that hope is face blueprint. It actually is the way out of the desert, and I'm grateful that he is a God that transforms yuck into yummy. If 2020 felt like a desert for you, remember the truth of the scripture. He is transforming the valley of troubles into a gateway of hope. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the amazing comfort that you have provided in all the trials and tribulations of our lives. You have been faithful in every season, even when I could not see you or feel you. And I, for that, I am grateful. Thank you for being a good, good father and putting an overflowing comfort in me that I get to share with others. In Jesus' name, amen. 
as you have opportunity today to give comfort to someone, make sure you do it.